Hello everyone, hope you're doing good today. Um, I want to continue our uh, Truth in the Darkness podcast talking about prayer. How is your prayer life? We talked about that just a little bit in our last podcast and we were looking in Matthew chapter 6 and Jesus showing us a powerful kingdom principle on prayer in the first part of that passage, he said, when you pray, don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on the street corners and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. I tell you the truth, that is all the reward they will ever get. And we talked about that last time. The Lord's not looking for people to pray in a way that says, look at me, look what I am. I'm super spiritual. I think I said in that last podcast, if you think you're super spiritual, you're not spiritual at all because spiritual people are humble people. But he goes on and, and, he, and he tells us how we are to pray. But when you pray, he says, go away by yourself, shut the door behind you and pray to your father in private. So the first part of that verse, he says, go away by yourself. Does that mean there's something wrong? With public prayers, no. Public prayer prayers are good. But when he says, go away by yourself, I think the idea is, is when we are by ourselves before the Lord, we have a greater tendency to be more sincere, don't you think? In our prayer, just me and God. And we're not so superficial. We don't have the anybody looking at us to see how we're going to pray. It's between us and God. And we tend to be much more sincere when we get away by ourselves. Shut the door behind you. Get in private is the whole idea here to talk to the Lord. And so he says, and pray to your father in private. In private. Pray in private. That time between you and God. Everybody needs that time. In fact, we need that on a daily basis to find a time that it's just you you, you and the good Lord to come to him, to commune with him and ask him to help you in your life, to give you wisdom. I don't know about you, but when I come before my heavenly father in daily prayer, one of the first things I pray is, Lord, forgive me. I tell you, I, I, I don't know if you're like me, but you know, I mess up a lot and I say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me for saying what I said to my wife or having an attitude that is out of bounds. Lord, forgive me. And I think that's one thing that we need to do as we come before the Lord in our private prayers is ask for forgiveness. And by the way, the Bible says, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Aren't you glad of that? I know that I am. I am so glad that the scriptures teach me that if I come before the Lord sincerely and say, Lord, I've messed up. I've sinned. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have done that. He cleanses me immediately. He cleanses me. That's what his blood does. It cleanses us from our sins. Not just one time, but it keeps on cleaning. It's a a uh, miracle cleanser, if you will, the blood of Jesus. It keeps on cleansing as we come before him and keep asking him. And it goes on in the last part of verse six. It says, then your father who sees everything will reward you. Your father who sees everything. He knows exactly what motivates me every second of my life. He sees everything in my life. Kind of scary, isn't it? When you think about it. And he says, he will reward you. Reminds me of the scripture that says, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God and he will lift you up. You see, the idea is not to be seen of men. The idea is not to lift yourself up. The idea is to come before the Lord in private, sincerely asking him for wisdom and direction and forgiveness. And as we do that, he's the one that exalts and lifts us up as he sees fit in our lives. That's not our job. That's his job. And so when we talk about how to pray, I think the truth that we find here in this particular passage is, we need to pray in private before the Lord in sincerity. 
Now, there's nothing wrong with public prayers. It's a good thing. And uh, we need more public prayers. But we have a greater tendency to be sincere before the Lord when folks aren't looking at us while we pray. As natural people, as natural human beings, when people are around us and looking at what we're doing or hearing what we say, we have a tendency uh, to put up safeguards. But when we get before the Lord in private, maybe it is the fact that we have a tendency to let down those safeguards and pour ourselves out before the Lord. And that's what he wants. He wants to pour ourselves out before him. And so we're, we're going to stop right there. And I just want to suggest that the truth that we find in the dark world here is to pray in sincerity, not to be seen of men so that God can reward us as he wants to reward us and lift us up in our lives. God bless you. God bless you, family. Let me pray with you. Lord, thank you for the day. Help us to be sincere in our prayers. And Lord, I pray you hear our prayers. Help us not to do what we do to be seen of men, to do what we do because we love you. We do what we do because we want to humble ourselves before you. We want you to be glorified. Thank you, Lord, for this time together. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and God bless your family. I hope you have a 